Welcome back to another video and in today's episode, well by the end of today's episode we will have a spawner that will allow us with a single click to generate a massive massive forest. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm going to be starting this off in just an empty level. Uh, all I have is a landscape with a bunch of foliage generated from the material. If you want to see that, go down to the description box. There is going to be a link to a playlist with all kinds of foliage related videos. So for this thing that we are going to create in this video, for this to work, what we need to do is we need to first go to the edit and we got to go to the editor preferences and we need to enable a setting. So just look for a foliage and it's going to give you a procedural foliage. So enable this and you're good to go. So now that you have done that, uh, what is going to be available to you is by right clicking in the content browser, you will have in the foliage section, you will have a procedural foliage spawner. So go ahead, create that. And let's call this, uh, let's call this PFS procedural foliage spawner uh, forest. Like the name doesn't matter. You can make as many of these as you like. But for this video, I'm just going to be using just one. Obviously, you can create multiple of these. So when we are in here, we have just a very little amount of settings. We can change the grid size. Uh, so it's going to create us like a grid across the level. And then uh, over here, we can change the size of it. We can change the seed. So that's basically how uh, random the trees are getting spawned or any other actors that we might want to spawn. So this is not too important, but obviously you can scale up the grid size, the tile sizes. And then if you, if you see that your chunks are like very blocky, then you can up these values to make them bigger and that effect will go away a little bit more. Also changing the random seed is going to help to randomize the tree positions as well. By default, these are the default values. We're going to stick with those for now. So we need to add a bunch of foliage types. So we can click add and it's going to require us to use a foliage type. By default, in this project, I don't have any of those. So what I'm going to do is right click foliage and I'm going to create a static mesh foliage. Let's call this... Um, Let's call this F, so for foliage, um, tree one. Okay, let's open this up. And if you ever worked with the Unreal Engine's uh, foliage tool, a lot of these settings are going to be very familiar to you and you're going to feel pretty much like at home already. So the first thing that we need is to provide an actual mesh. So I'm going to go to the stylized forest assets pack, which was free for uh, this month. So you can still grab it if you're watching this today, but it's going to go away in a couple of days. So uh, go grab it real quick if you want it. So tree. I'm selecting the tree and plugging that into here. There we go. So I have the tree over here. Now we can change a bunch of settings over here. We can uh, align to normals. We can uh, randomize the jaw. So that's like the rotation of it. We can change the uh, slopes in which they can grow, in which they can't. So if it's above 45 degrees, it's not going to be growing there. Uh, mobility static, that's good. Uh, we can set the cool distance. Uh, we probably want to set this up to something. So let's say we want this to start cooling at, let's say like 2000 and it's going to go away in like 10,000 perhaps. Uh, maybe those should be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So they're going to cast shadow. Um, they're going to have collision. So we want to block all to actually have a collision in there. And what else we can do in the growth, we can change the scale of it. So how big they actually get So from one to three. In this case, obviously, we can bump this up to maybe like five to have more variety. Uh, we have the clustering. Uh, so this one, the initial seed density is going to like change how many of them are per a specific distance. So there's an average spread distance. Uh, spread variants, like all kinds of parameters that we can change. Uh, we can also set the shade radius. So if we increase this one, then in this radius uh, around it, the trees are not going to spawn. So it's gonna this, the, not going to allow them to be spawned there. So if they are getting too close for you, if you want to spread them more apart, maybe increase this value right here. So uh, go through the settings, experiment with these. There is a bunch of them. It's going to take me a long time to explain all of them. So. Now, the next thing that we want to do is inside of our uh, foliage spawner, we want to provide this foliage actor. So here we go. We can then hit save. So now let's, uh, so I removed a couple of things. I uh, removed the sphere capsule and some other things that I don't need for this example. So uh, just go ahead, bring in your, your spawner, extend that a little bit. 
I'm gonna have a little bit smaller now for now, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger later in the video. So now that we have done this, select your spawner. Uh, that's a weird name. There we go. And scroll down a little bit in the details panel till you find the section called procedural foliage and hit this resimulate button. And as soon as you do that, you will see that it spawned a bunch of trees over here. There we go. So we have quite a forest with quite a variety in the sizes of the trees themselves. Uh, it's a little bit darker because of the lighting, but uh, that's that's besides the point. Now you can see this is very dense. So if even if we would like extend this now, so I have the cool distance, so they will disappear in a distance. So let's re-simulate this once more, once it's bigger. So you can see this is still very dense, regardless of how big we make this, it's gonna fill it up entirely and it's gonna be very, very full. So let's make sure that there's not that many trees over here. So what I'm gonna do is increase the shade radius, like I said. So let's bump this up to maybe like 300. And once we do that, we can save that and re-simulate this once more. And there we go. You can see there is a lot less trees. It is a lot less dense and our player would now be able to walk through this. Now the cool distance is a little low. Uh, so let me bump that up. Maybe it's even like 40 and let's start cooling maybe even only at five. There we go. So this is a little bit better. Now it's a little bit better visible for us. So there we go. We have some pretty cool forest. Uh, let's add some more things to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the same foliage, uh, static mesh foliage, and I'm going to duplicate this just to save time. So we have the foliage number two. I'm going to leave all the settings the same way, the same cooling distances, block everything, all that stuff. I'm gonna, just going to change the mesh to another one. Let's duplicate this once more. Let's add another mesh. There we go. So I guess I've used all of them. So now let's go ahead and let's open up our uh fully spawner fully spawner let's add a bunch of these entries and let's add a bunch of more trees so three four five six seven hit save and let's re-simulate this once more and there we go now you can see we have a huge variety of all kinds of different trees inside of our level we have this fallen down one uh, we have all kinds of cool thingies and they are looking something like this so now even if it's still like not exactly like you want it maybe some trees are again a little closer to something or whatever uh, you can always go ahead and adjust the settings in your foliage so you need to adjust those separately for each single one of our, your foliage instances uh, you can change the initial seed density this is like the like it says specifies the number of seed to populate along 10 meters so if you like make this even lower so maybe like 0.1 uh, so this is the, the the round regular tree so if we re-simulate it you can see there is actually only just a couple of them and other trees are there's now more other trees than there's that three over there so if we maybe like bump this up to like 10 to have like a complete opposite and re-simulate this once more you can see those trees just took over and there's mostly those trees rather than any other three in the level. So th that's another cool setting that we can adjust. Obviously keeping these all at one, we'll make sure that there's a uh, like an even spread between different foliage types. Also, of course, we can add a bunch of different other foliage types as, of, as well. So let's say we add a bunch of rocks. So I'm gonna make, so a bunch of more stones. So let's go ahead, one, two, three, four, five. Let's add a bunch of stones to this. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Again, re-simulate. And we have a bunch of rocks now. Now, with the rocks though, as you can see, uh, it removed a bunch of trees from the level as well. So again, adjusting a bunch of settings would be very, very important in this situation. Uh, we might wanna maybe in the trees we maybe want to bump up the shade so maybe make this into like 200 and for the stones as well maybe we want to bring this even lower than whatever we had here maybe we want to bring these back to the default values for the stones uh, so there's more stones if we want or whatever other things that you might want it to have rather than what we have over here so now we have Brought these all back again, re-simulate once more, and you can see there's a bunch of more stones now. 
because there's not a lot of uh, distance uh, sh there's not supposed to be a lot of distance between them so there's a lot of different stones over here so this is pretty cool now let's say well uh, we have this throughout our entire level obviously that's the way you should probably will want to have this so that it is easier for you to, uh, to basically generate this foliage so you don't have to mess with this for too much uh, so you don't have to have a lot of boxes essentially that's what I mean with with this but the issue now will be that well where does the player walk around like where do you how do you make some trails how maybe you want to have a house over here but you have these things over here which is not cool uh, you want to have some free space so for that in the place actors in the volumes we have a volume for this now since we enabled the setting I think it wasn't there by default we have a procedural foliage blocking volume so now if we bring this in let's make sure we extend this quite a bit maybe let's make this bigger again something like that let's say we want to have a path so I'm gonna have this guy right here it's going to allow me to make a path over here so I'm gonna rotate this place a bunch of these over here there we go and now if we would again select our foliage spawner and re-simulate you will see that there is no foliage in this volume right here because it forbids things to be spawned in here and yeah uh, that's how you basically clear out the paths now as you can see there's nothing getting spawned in them you still have to be a little bit careful with actors like this because it's getting spawned over here and it's gonna overlap this a little bit so if that's the case then of course go ahead and maybe scale this up a little bit re-simulate your thingy again there we go now that removed it so that's gonna be just fine now one more thing is maybe you generated this and this is not exactly the shape and form that you wanted to have then like I said go to your spawner and change the random seed let's set this to 67 re simulate as you can see the trees and everything got spawned quite a bit differently so again let's do that one once more and there we go so this is a really cool and quick way how you can create a large surface with foliage you don't have to use that annoying foliage tool which is very slow it gives a lot of issues uh, the FPS is totally not there with these things the FPS is slightly better I feel I personally feel I'm, I haven't really done any actual experiments with this so I might be completely wrong uh, but I feel like the the FPS is a little bit better with this but just like with every other thing when it comes to foliage the FPS is not the greatest uh, but yeah uh, thank you for watching that's going to be it for today's video we have this ginormous forest generated and uh, yeah thank you for watching and I see you in the next one